Good morning, everyone. I'm reading a book by Arthur Brooks called From Strength to Strength. And at the end of the book, he says I could summarize the entire book in seven words. Use things, love people, worship the divine. Indeed, all of the commandments in the Torah remind us on a daily basis to use things. Don't love things because they can't love you back and surely don't worship things. As they say, the most important things in life are in things. Love people. Don't use people, God forbid, and never worship people. And the only one you should worship is the divine. There's a verse in this week's Torah portion, a very powerful verse that says, you shall observe my commandments, v'chai bahem, and you shall live by them. And the rabbis say, what is the commandment to live by them? So our rabbis teach us, first of all, that we should live by the commandments and not die by the commandments. Meaning, if I have to eat on Yom Kippur because I'm not well, it's better to eat and violate the commandment to observe Yom Kippur because God wants us to live by the commandments, not to die by the commandments. But Rashi gives a second interpretation. Rashi says, V'chai Bahamur is reminding us that when we do the commandments, not only will we live better, more fulfilled, happier, meaningful and purposeful lives, with love and goodness and righteousness in this world that will live by these commandments, they will give us life, but also in the world to come. Because you see, they say diamonds are forever, but when you die, you can't take your diamonds with you. But your good deeds, they go with you for all of eternity. And they remain with you. And they continue to do goodness and kindness here on earth. And therefore, remember that the commandments are not just for this lifetime, but for the next lifetime as well. They tell a story about a chassid who was poor and needed to marry off his daughter. He had no money, so he went to his Rebbe for a blessing. And his Rebbe said, go to the marketplace and the first deal, the first opportunity you have to buy something, buy it. And God will bless you and you'll be successful and you'll have money to marry off your daughter. He goes to the marketplace, he sees a man selling jewels. He goes over to him and says, tell me, can I buy a jewel? He said, how much money do you have? The religious Jew says, I have 10 ruble. He starts laughing, 10 ruble, you can't buy a jewel for 10 ruble. So the religious Jew says, well, what can I buy for 10 ruble? So this non-religious Jew laughs and he says, I'll tell you what, I'll sell you my portion in the world to come for 10 ruble. Well, the chassid remembers what the Rebbe said, buy the first thing you can buy, he said, deal. They write up a contract, he's laughing, he signs that he's selling his portion in the world to come and the chassid gives him the 10 ruble. The man comes home, he tells his wife with great amusement how he sold this religious Jew, his portion of the world to come for 10 ruble. His wife gets upset and says, what? You sold your portion of the world to come for eternity? For 10 ruble? And he starts, she starts to berate him. And he starts to realize what a mistake he made and he regrets it. The next day he goes looking for the chassid and he says, listen, I made a mistake, I want to buy it back. Here's your 10 ruble, sell me back my portion in the world to come. The chassid says, I'm sorry, I could only sell it back for a thousand ruble, which was the amount he needed to marry off his daughter. He says, a thousand ruble, you just bought it yesterday for 10 and you want to sell it back to me for a thousand? He says, yes, I'm only willing to sell it for a thousand. Poor Jew, fellow, poor Jew had no choice. He gives him a thousand ruble, he buys back his portion in the world to come. Later, the chassid goes to the Rebbe to thank the Rebbe for his blessing and tell him the story. And the Rebbe said to the chassid, I want you to know something. When this Jew sold you his portion in the world to come, it wasn't even worth more than 10 ruble. It was a fair deal, but now, that he was willing to pay a thousand ruble to buy it back, his portion in the world to come is worth a lot more than a thousand ruble. The choices we make in this world affect us not only in this world, but in the next world too. And therefore, the Torah says, perform the commandments, embrace the Torah and the mitzvot, because they will enhance and elevate your life and give you more longevity and happiness in this lifetime. And not only in this world, but for all of eternity. Have a wonderful, meaningful day.